the main idea, the main Freud's idea was that people don't know their true desires. They don't know why they do this uh, or another thing. And as if you can see on this uh, slide on the image, the white part is what we understand, is what we know. It's like uh, he's handsome, he's nice, I think he's a great man, we have same common values. And below the big huge part of you, uh, this is the actual reasons why you're making this decision and the examples can be mm, mm, the following have you ever liked somebody without understanding why for example you uh, you've met someone and you don't know this person yet but you like him already or uh, maybe you uh, remember, you can remember a situation where you did something or you argued with somebody or you said something and then when you're thinking about this situation, you don't really know why did you do this, you know, why you became so angry or maybe you had dreams and you cannot explain why you had those dreams, who uh, are those people from your dreams and why uh, in your dream you did this or that and Freud explains it he is saying that our true desires our true fears and our true motivations are hidden from us and we are not aware of them and yet they control our lives and all of this would be nice and would be fine if uh, our unconscious mind would be smart and would be looking for our best interest. But according to Freud, it's not uh, how it works. According to Freud, there are three uh, elements, three processes uh, that are going in your uh, head and create internal conflicts. And... Um, you can ask a question, so who you are, what, um, mm, how can you treat yourself, how can you understand yourself if anything is hidden in our unconscious mind. And let's talk about those three elements. And uh, the elements are id, which is hidden in our unconscious. Then uh, we have ego and we have super ego. And if you look at this image, uh, this white line, this is the line between conscious and unconscious. And we also have uh, the layer which is pre-conscious. So basically, conscious is what we know, what we understand. Unconscious and is uh, what we don't know, completely uh, don't understand. And um, this is these things are hidden from our awareness and we have the layer in between and uh, those things that we can understand they just um, beneath the surface of awareness so when you come for therapy or when you come for self-development workshop we usually work on this level and um, the id the biggest part of the iceberg is present at birth it is our animal part. It wants to eat, drink, poop, get warm and have sexual satisfaction. And it works on what Freud called the pleasure principles. It wants pleasure and wants it now. And according to Freud, a human is born as a pure id, the pure desire for pleasure. In reality, you can't always get what you want, right? We have, we have a song like, you can't always get what you want. And as a result, we um, either planning how to satisfy our desire or we are uh, thinking how to suppress them, how to ignore them. And the system that helps us to suppress our desire or to satisfy our desire is called ego or self. And ego uh, has a border with it, so it does connect with it. It has like a connection between uh, the conscious and sub-unconscious mind. And ego uh, 
we uh, there are biggest part of not biggest like let's say uh, there are a big part of ego that we can understand we know we are aware of it and there is some part that is hidden from us but it's very close to our awareness level and when we have like oh i got an insight this usually insight comes from this lower part of ego and ego works on reality principles so it works on the principle of pleasure and ego is all about the reality and ego goal is either find the way how to satisfy the desires that we have in it the hidden desires or how to give up on them and ego is part of our consciousness this is what we think this is what we our logic and the ego is the part that makes decisions and basically ego decides what when and how and yet it is controlled by the it this is the algorithm ego decides what to do and the uh the true desire the true motivation is hidden beneath it by it um and it's not ends here freud introduces us as the third component which is super ego and on the picture is this part on the right side and the super ego is connected with ego and with id and super ego is uh, uh, simultaneously located on three levels levels conscious level pre-conscious level and unconscious level uh, so angel or little devil uh, id is like a um, little devil and super ego is like a little um, L angel who sits uh, on our shoulder and super ego is our internal rules uh, which were given to us by our parents so uh, by the society and it's basically what is wrong what is right the understanding what i should do what i should not do how should i behave and how i should not behave uh, and the child is growing uh, up and wants to satisfy his desire but desires but sometimes he gets punished for them mm. his desires might be inappropriate or his actions might be wrong for example a child wants to poop uh, but he cannot do it he has to wait he, you cannot poop in your pants like or a child wants an ice cream and he sees a girl uh, with an ice cream he wants to take it from her but super ego which at that time is a parent saying no you should not behave this way you know you should wait you cannot take stuff from other people and then within time this um, super ego component uh, becomes internalized and uh, now we hear our parents voices our teachers voices our society voices inside of us and super ego is another part of our consciousness something that we can realize something we can control we are aware of this super ego of these um, norms and rules that we have and super ego is like a little agent is like a teacher in school who is telling you what you should do and what you should not do uh, super e uh, and ego basically when you have it on one shoulder and super ego on the other shoulder your ego is in between and ego does not know what to do either to satisfy your desires or to follow the super ego rules so ego has a very hard and difficult job and the it says i want to eat have fun and have sexual pleasure and super eager is saying uh, you should be ashamed of yourself this is disgusting stop doing it and ego is like oops what should i do and according to freud we don't even realize those process uh, and we cannot control it According to Freud, those processes are hidden from us and it works like uh, our external, internal organs like kidney, heart or stomach. We know about them, but we cannot really control them. And it is something that we 
have at our birth and ego and super ego we develop in childhood.